Hey guys, today I'll be showing you, I'm like, I'm going to read a book. So, um, this is a story book, and its name is Heidi. So, I'm going to read the story to you guys. So, hope you enjoy it. So, the story is Heidi. On top of a mountain in the Swiss Alps, Heidi lived with her grandfather. Their home was a hut overlooking the valley and behind it stood three old fir trees. Heidi loved to hear the wind rushing and roaring in their long thick branches. Heidi had a happy life. Every day in the summer she went up the mountain with Peter, the young goat herd. She knew the names of all the flowers and she was friendly with all the goats in Peter's herd. In the winter time, Heidi stayed inside her home with grandfather and watched him carve around wooden spoons or hammer to get the chairs or tables. Sometimes Peter struggled up the snowy mountain path to call for Heidi and look her down to visit his grandmother and his blind mother. One day, Heidi's aunt came to take her to school, so off went Heidi to Frankfurt, oh far away. Heidi soon made friends in Frankfurt. There was a good old doctor who came to see Heidi's cousin, Clara, and who never left without saying a kind word to Heidi. There was Clara's grandmother, who taught Heidi to read, and of course, she was there was Clara herself, pretty and sweet, but so pale and frail, and unable to walk and stand. Heidi told her over and again about Grandfather Peter, the merry goats, and the great fruit trees. Oh, if only you could go there, Heidi would say sadly. You'd see, you would grow well and learn to walk there. Oh, if only we were home. Poor Heidi. She was so homesick for her mountains, with the green valley spreading below her in Frankfurt, even from the golden steeple of the church where she visited one day. As far as her eyes reached, she could see only the grey stone houses of the city. Many weeks went by, and every day Heidi grew paler and more homesick. The kind old doctor who came to see Clara spoke gravely to Mr. Sesemann, Clara's father. Heidi has grown thin and pale with homesickness. You must send her home at once or she'll be very ill, he said. The very next day, Heidi's bag was packed so she could go home to the mountains, which she always loved. Heidi and Clara cried when they had to leave each other. But just wait, Heidi said, you'll come to visit us soon. And then you will see how beautiful it is. And you will get well and strong up in the mountains. And then it was not long before Heidi was running up the path she knew so well up to Grandfather's hut. Before Grandfather had even seen her coming, she had thrown her arms around his neck. Grandfather, she cried. Grandfather, I'm home and I will never leave you again. Heidi had run to see the goats, to hear the wind to the fruit trees. She had to hurry down to the mountain path to see Peter's grandmother, who wept with joy to find that Heidi would, could read to her now. And every day, at least six times a day, she said to her grandmother, We must bring Clara up here. Clara will be well and strong here. Heidi had her way at last. One day, a little position wound up the mountain. Clara, well wrapped in shawls and blankets, was being carried up in the chair. Her father, carrying more warm shawls, following her. I am going to stay with you, Clara told Heidi, her soft blue eyes shining. I am going to stay with you, Grandfather, Peter and the goats for four whole weeks. 
Then father will come back for me. Heidi could do nothing but hope with joy. Every day after the grandfather carried Clara up where Peter kept his goats, he put down on the warm sweet grass and then Heidi would pick flowers for her friend or sit beside her to tell her names of all the different goats. Every day, Clara drank great bowl fulls of sweet goat milk. This is so good, she sighed, and I'm so hungry. At home, I'll never get to eat like this. Is it? It is the healthy mountain air, smiled Grandfather. By the time, Mr. Sissaman came up to call for his little girl. Instead of a pale invalid, he found a tall, smiling, rosy-cheeked Clara who came walking toward him on Heidi's arm. Mr. Sissaman ran up and clasped her in his arms. How is this possible? he cried. How is this possible? And Heidi kept dancing around them both singing happily. I knew the mountains would make you well. I knew they would make you well. He said like this. And this is the story you guys. I think you love it. So this is a story of Heidi. And this is a girl. Heidi. So in the back there's written something and I'm going to read it. Heidi. Heidi is a young orphan living on top of a mountain in the Swiss Alps. Heidi is taken to live in Frankfurt where she met an be friends, a pale and frail girl, Clara, who was unable to walk or stand, read and found out how struggles to help her spirits as well as in curing Clara. So, I think you'll love it, you guys. So, bye and please subscribe. Hope you like it.